Do you feel sometimes your brain is like a tangled ball of wool? You have knots and loose threads. You hesitate to pull one thread because it might make things worse. Some bits might be short and you won't be able to do anything with them. You get the picture. Well, there is a way to unravel the knots of your thinking. It's like having nimble fingers, unraveling the tangled ball of wool, revealing new pathways and possibilities you couldn't see before. So what's inside tangled thinking? Well, there's assumptions. We all function with assumptions that guide our behavior. Assumptions are like short templates that prevent the brain from using too much energy every time it needs to make some sort of decision. So for example, the fire is hot. I'm assuming that if I put my hand in the fire, I will burn myself and it will hurt badly. So this assumption is buried in my mind and I no longer think about it consciously. And it serves me. And as a result, I'm cautious with fire, right? But I don't think about it anymore. Some assumptions, however, might not serve you. For instance, someone could say, I want to find a life companion, but I'm assuming I'm not worthy of love. Then you ask, well, what else are you assuming that is stopping you from finding a life companion? And with questions around assumptions, you'll help your thinker to dig up all these templates that might be stopping them from accomplishing what they really want. And all the questions we use in this process of exploration are called incisive questions that gently but effectively shine a light on these assumptions. And then we also question the truth and the logic of these assumptions. We cut through. We take the mist away from what was a blind spot. And then we open the door to fresh perspectives. And it might sound like, do you think it's true that you are absolutely not worthy of love? The thinker might say, well, no, there are many ways of loving and being loved. I haven't thought of them all, actually. And as it's not true that you are not worthy of love, what are your words for what is true and liberating instead? Well, the thinker might answer, well, I believe I have many hobbies and interests that others share too and I could share with others. Well, if you knew that you have many hobbies and interests that others share too, what would you start with to find a life companion? And if you knew that you have many hobbies and interests that others share too, what else would change for you? The incisive question here helps you see what you previously overlooked and they guide you towards unexpected breakthrough to reach your outcome without telling you what to think or do. The incisive questions reflect your thoughts. They invite you to tap into your imagination, your dreaming without pressure because they use what else? What more? If you knew this, how would you do that? How, what would change for you? The result of it all is the taste of your independent thinking, the permission to think for yourself and as yourself. You are your own courageous and creative navigator. So you can practice on your own, but you know that there's a lot of magic uh, to happen when you do this in the presence of a thinking partner, because they will ask you these questions until nothing else pops up for you. And they will also give you their most exquisite attention, and that can take you a long way. So if you knew that you can learn to be more of an independent thinker for yourself and for others, what would change for you? See you in the next video for a final component of a thinking environment.